do it yourself. Five dollar teleprompter. So I had a project that I had to work on, which was uh, a short story, and there was no way I could memorize 30, 40 minutes of text. So I wanted to build myself a teleprompter. So I happen to have a cracked small seven inch tablet lying around and um, I work with computers and we get sent uh, replacement LCD screens for laptops and they come in a perfect box that you can make a teleprompter from. So here I have a box for a um, replacement LCD screen. I have cut the box out and um, I've gone to a, a uh, picture framer and just asked to buy a piece of glass and because it was so small they just gave it to me because it's something that they can't use um, piece of fabric run around um, and uh, some duct tape so I cut the cardboard out I've uh, put the glass in there and um, that's it. I only paid five bucks for the duct tape. That's it. Um, piece of fabric I had lying around. I stapled the fabric to the top. But the most important thing required in this uh, making a teleprompter was with, they use a thing called beam splitter glass, which allows you to see through and reflect. What, you had, what I had to do is I had to get some window tint and tint this side of the glass, not that side. And what the tinting does is it creates a reflective film that um, allows the text from this to bounce up into it. What I found with the glass, I had a piece of perspex and a couple of bits of glass that um, you got double vision so you'd see the text twice and it was quite blurry and hard to understand by putting the tint on the bottom part of the glass it gave a very nice reflective easy to read um, uh, text so i happen to have a, a window tinter that works next door to me and um, i basically just grabbed a little bit of tint to go on it didn't cost me anything but it wouldn't cost much to buy some so what I'm doing now is I am firing up this tablet and all I have is my Android prompter software and um, let me see, manage text, open file, it's um, got a cracked screen so it only works in certain areas. Okay, so we'll go out, make the text bigger. So the thing with the teleprompter is to get it to uh, cancel. Sorry, crack screen. Mirror. Play. See if I can get this so you can see what it looks like. So that there is what it looks like. So um, if you look down below, you'll see a link of the video where I recorded this and you'll see it working. And the whole purpose is to put the camera under here and you can see me and the text. Or So right now I can read the text. So you just gotta have the fabric to make it dark around the camera and that just helps to make it more readable. Um, was repeating my little mantra in my head, the same one I always fall back on when things seem to go like they're about to go sideways. 
Um, so that's basically it. So here you can see it. Working just there. And so it's a matter of getting the text to work at the right size and the right speed for you. Um, mounting. Just a piece of wood with a uh, camera mount here so I can just clip it on a tripod, make it go up and down. And all I did was just sit there, just like that. And I had a piece of aluminium lying around, stuck it in where I figured it was a 45 degree angle. There it is, cardboard box, scrap aluminium, five bucks was for the gaffer tape to hold the glass in there. So you can see, just the gaffer tape, just to hold it in there. And uh, that there is my $5 do-it-yourself teleprompter. Um, it was invaluable for me to be able to read a short story and to look at the camera. So if you want to see an example of me using it, uh, just look down below for the link and you'll see the video of me reading a short story. Um, so the tint on the glass will darken the picture, so you just have to compensate by adding some extra light into it. But um, I didn't notice it at all in the, in the video, and um, I was uh, quite happy with the teleprompter. So the most important thing with the teleprompter was the reflectiveness of the glass. So some people will use like a mirrored glass that they'll get from a glass shop. Um, some people will get beam splitter glass, which is professional teleprompter glass. But um, I didn't have the time or the access to look or get that, so I had easy access to a couple of bits of glass. So I tried some uh, window tint, and um, it was kind of old and crappy, and it had like all bubbles and stuff on it. Um, so I went and got some clean new window tint, some good quality window tint, and um, it worked really, really well. I was very happy with the reflectiveness of the text onto the screen. Um, and there might have been a very slight double vision, but it was very, very minor, hardly noticeable.